Ready for a rip? Go for a rip, eh? After a few weeks in Mexico, we find ourselves passing more and more time in the water. But there's only so much snorkeling and margarita drinking that one can do. <laughs> Kaza gets an extra shot. <laughs> Ellis is tied to a dock in the lovely Isla Mujeres, and we were playing the waiting game. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, oh, rain. Back another day. Looking at weather. Uh, it's either straight up easterly flow or southeasterly flow. Making moonshine. Look at that. That's alcohol being made right there. Waiting some more. Drinking moonshine. Ooh, ah. And prepping Delos for our upcoming 1,000 nautical mile passage to Panama. We're in business now. We're ready to beat up wind for 1,000 miles? Yay! Oh, let's do it. Pinned down by unfavorable winds and growing tired of tequila, we decided to use our time wisely. What have we got there? This is the brewing container, so it's 25 liters. And if we get this clean and put our ingredients in right, in about three or four days, then we'll have like the brew ready to put through the still. So what is this mystery white substance here? So that's actually uh, sodium metabisulfate. Uh, we use it for a lot of things on the boat. Um, pickling the water maker, that works really good for it. It's also a sterilizing agent. So you see people like sterilizing lettuce and, and vegetables and stuff. They mix a little bit of this with water. Uh, it creates a gas that sterilizes things. So we'll, I think it's one teaspoon of this per one liter of water. So it's, it's extremely important that we get the, the brewing chamber really clean. Uh, otherwise, it'll, it'll kill the yeast and we won't get as much alcohol. That's the stuff. All right, she's all spiffy clean. So step one, hot water? Yep, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dissolve eight kilos of sugar, 16 pounds, in 20 liters of water. So I add this whole bag. Two whole bags. Two whole bags. Wow. Okay. Oh, Look at all that sugar. All that sugar. I think I could just drink that. All right. <laughs> Without it being moonshine. If you want to. I could drink that much sugar water. You have a lot more fun drinking the alcohol, though. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Stir it up. Stir that bottom up. Get it in there real deep. Okay. Cool, so now we wait. We'll check it in the morning and see how it's doing. And what is the sign of how it's doing? We'll see bubbles. Okay, cool. All right. Well, this is fun. This is, You said this was the boring part. This is the boring we part. We get to the fun part it soon. It gets way more exciting from here. Okay. Who's in there? Who is that here? Hello. It's Hello, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad of a place to be. The perfect place for it. It's amazing. I love it here. We're just sort of in a holding pattern, I guess. Yeah. Wind is strong. Out of the east, exactly where we want to go. The wrong Ooh. direction. But it looks like there might be a window towards the end of next week. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe. Press our fingers, hold our thumbs. But until then, this, this is, is where you find us. <laughs> So, so, 
Me people celebrate and I from my homeland like my old man It's been a couple of days, um, so we've let the uh, moonshine do its thing. So the yeast ate up all the sugar. Look at that. That's alcohol being made right there. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Isn't that cool? And turned it into alcohol. And now we have to run it to the still. So this is like step two of the moonshine process. Da -da -da -da. Correct. So this is the Turbo 500. Uh, which is a very cool still. It's a reflux uh, tower still. And so what you do is we have this boiler. It heats the mash that is in here. And when it heats it, it gets to uh, a certain temperature and then it starts to create vapors. And everything in here evaporates at a different temperature. And so, you know, water starts to boil at 100 degrees Celsius. So we want to leave the water in there. We want to leave everything but the ethanol. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use water to control the temperature of this tower and make sure that we stay between a finite range to get the most ethanol and leave out like methanol, acetone, and all the other like heads and tails and trace elements that are a byproduct of uh, distillation. So we're getting rid of the stuff that we don't want. We're going to get rid of the poisons. We're going to keep the good stuff. Okay. Yep. Sounds like And if, if we do this right, we will get absolutely beautiful, pure liquor. Basically prison brew that we've made. So if you're in prison, you would drink this, maybe. Mm, doesn't sound too appetizing. But after we distill it, it's gonna be wonderful. Should I try it? Yeah, try it. Will it kill me? No. Here. No. Hold on. It'll be fine. Oh, actually, I was joking. No, it's a great idea. Have a little taste. <laughs> it's Let's not it. actually gonna hurt me, is no, it? It won't hurt you. Oh, that's yummy, actually. Oh, taste kind of sour. Yeah. Kind of sweet, actually. It's surprisingly sweet. I thought it'd be very dry. Does it remind you of anything? Cider. Really? Oh, never heard that before. Okay, oh, we're over the line. You distracted me. <laughs> Man, look at this contraption. I know, it's pretty cool, huh? It looks like a rocket ship. So now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out our water flow. So like through this hose, mm -hmm. we use this valve to control the flow of the water. And so by opening this valve, it's gonna let more water go through this tube, through here, cool the still head, and then it's gonna come back out down here. So we just stick this end in our water tank. We'll oh, just put it back the in the water tank so we don't, so we don't waste any water. Because it's not getting dirty or No, it's just getting hot. Oh. <gasps> oh, our oh. first drops! Oh, okay. That's good news. Okay, so that's basically poison. So this is stuff that we want to throw out. I mean, we can smell it, but you don't want to drink it. There's a lot of misnomers about moonshining and it making you go blind, but it's actually quite a lot of BS. And the main reason why those two things got connected is because back when there was prohibition, people used to cut alcohol with things like formaldehyde and acetone to bulk up the product just like you cut drugs right now. And so Moonshine got this sort of bad, bad rap, but you know, what we're gonna get out of here is super, super uh, pure alcohol. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop this at 50 milliliters mm -hmm. because uh, based on the size of this still, which should be five liters, uh, the amount of, of uh, heads that we should get out of this is approximately 50 milliliters. So we know the first 50 mils, we'll just toss it out and then we'll start filling our jug. All right, you ready? Yeah, now we're getting... That's now we're getting, the real stuff. That's the product there. All right, so I want you to smell this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it'll burn your throat, It smells right? like nail polish remover. Yeah, so like you can taste it. Mm-mm. Just a little bit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Just a little, it's got like a smoky kind of- Is it going to taste like poison? No. It's oh. got like a smoky kind of yeasty yeah, it does. flavor. Yeah. And you can feel how strong it is because it's burning your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's, that's, oh. that's the stuff. So this is just getting dumped overboard? Well, you can burn it. It you burns can. really well. It burns blue. So that sounds like fun. Yeah. Let's do that. The bomb, the doc. No big deal. It's fine. We're surrounded by water. 
it's burning. You just oh. you can't see it, right? Oh, I can. If you get down low, you can see it. It looks really cool at night. Science. This is like the best science project ever. I know. You get a lot of good stuff out of it. Can you imagine how cool it is when I get to teach Sierra stuff? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, all right, this, is, a moon this is how to make moonshine, but it's science. So this is not poison that I'm tasting now. Oh, alcohol is poison still, right? Ooh, ah. You were so you weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to dip your finger in it. Oh. And then taste it. Whoa. Yeah, that's good. Hey, Kaza. Mm -hmm. Can you come up and be our taste tester? Sure. Did you throw away the beginning bit? Mm hmm. Oh, it doesn't burn my nostrils. <laughs> Jeez, I don't think that's safe. Whoa. It's hot. Yeah, that's like it burnt my mouth. Holy, well. Got some potent stuff going there. Yeah. <laughs> so oh what do gosh. you want us to make, Kaza? Vod vodka? Oh, you vodka. didn't have to think twice about that. No, I've been not having a vodka, so. For the Red Bull. Mm. Vodka for the Red Bull. Okay. Mm. One vodka Red Bull coming up. Yes, please. Okay, we're on it. Sweet. I'm gonna go back into my hole. <laughs> my editing hole. Okay. Into the cave. <laughs> the YouTube algorithm works in mysterious ways, and your engagement helps us like you wouldn't believe. So if you like this video, support it by smashing that like button, sending us a witty comment, and of course, subbing to the channel. With our moonshine well underway, we decided to take a little break and head outside the bay for some underwater exploration. Going for a little snorkeling mission out to the lighthouse out there and see if we can see something. I think the current's uh, coming this way. So we'll just drop you guys up by that other island and then you can just drift back down. Wow, yeah, the current is, it's gonna be awesome drift snorkel. Yeah. Ready for a rip? Go for a rip, eh? This amazing healthy reef is just outside of Isla and marked by a small lighthouse. The current is always ripping through here, so the plan was a drift snorkel. I dropped the girls off upstream, and the baby nugs and myself would drift down current Maggie and pick them up at the end. Oh, big wave! Oh. <laughs> You're just sitting there like a little person now. Look at you! Delos Tribe. Women's rash guards are in stock. So check them out at svdelos.com forward slash rash guards. <clears throat> oh, 
what did we do today, Tay? Well, I gotta go for a little evening dip beside the boat because on my way to board Delos again, I dropped my GoPro. <laughs> right beside the boat. <laughs> I find it incredibly <laughs> funny that you have to swim here with the crocodiles. And oh my god, there <laughs> is crocodile! <laughs> Taylor, full send it. You, you don't need no man in your life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find my own GoPro. Sexist. I'll find my own GoPro. Thank Anything you to add? I think the crocodilos was, uh, <laughs> good was, uh, was good enough for me. <laughs> I don't want to zoom in the crocs! I think it's pretty much like right under the dinghy too. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Taylor, it's been really nice knowing you. But I'm, so, I'm so happy to have you on board. Like, wish it could have been longer, but... Have fun sailing to Panama. Bye-bye, <laughs> oh, it's been nice this, knowing girl. you. Girl power. You got but this. Remember, don't stir up the bottom. Uh-huh. See how it's done, Nugget. Watch this. And she's gone. Oh my god, it's not clear at all. <laughs> it's so murky and scary. Oh no. Oh my god, a croc's gonna get me. Oh, oh she's <laughs> blowing your kisses, Tay. She's blowing your kisses. <laughs> Bye, Taylor. <laughs> okay, I dropped it right about. Like, it would have been right yeah. about here. There's a lot of sport fishermen here, so... They've been giving us fish. Yeah. No, we had great. tacos last night. Yeah. We're just sort of hanging out, waiting for weather. Yeah. Like, we looked at the weather forecast. And nothing seems to be coming for the next, like, 14 days. So, <laughs> here we are, yeah. eating, eating fish that other people catch for us, swimming in the pool, <laughs> slacklining, watching cartoons, and drinking tequila. Let's see. That's looking good. So, here we go! <laughs> You've not done yourself, Cavill. That looks fantastic. I hope so. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah. Wow, Casa, this looks it's amazing. Mm. That's the test. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Oh, That's oh what yeah. For. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great! <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I know. I know. Ew. I know. Gross. Up next on Delos, we finish flavoring our moonshine. There you go, yeah. that's it. So we're making a dark rum. Dark rum. And a vodka. All right. Our generator overheats, again. I've been just putting load on it and watching it, and I thought it would stabilize around 70 C, and now it's climbed to 85. And we get Delos ship shape for a 1,000 mile sail to Panama. Looks like we got a weather window coming up. So just doing last minute things. So we have two oh, yeah. crew coming in. We've got Jade yep. and JC that we met in Key West. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna go over and get them tomorrow. Uh, we've got a provision. We've got to check out. We've got to pay them Reina. We've got to do COVID tests, which is a pain in the ass. We've got to do a rigging check. We've got to clean the bottom and we have to schedule a Dulles video. Uh, bring me back to the good old days. Whoa, that's wrong. He did what I did! You don't even have to tell him. Oh, that's worse than I remember. I'm just gonna lie. That is not a moon giant. That is like some... Uh, that's horrible. Oh, wow. She's kicking me in the nuts. Come on! Woo. Wow. Good job. Good job, Tate. Get your drink ready. See, you don't need a guy to help you. I don't need no man. Screw that. 